Many people relish a tan in the summer, and they want it even more in the fall. But have you noticed how quickly a tan fades as fall approaches? Today I'm going to share a tip for maintaining your leg tan for a longer time. Hello, I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and welcome to Durham TV. From the questions I receive and the comments I read, I'm excited to see that so many people understand the dual dangers of unprotected sun exposure, both premature aging of the skin and the development of skin cancer. I'm very happy that so many of you have gotten the message and use sunscreen daily and reapply it as needed, meaning immediately after swimming, sweating, and every two to three hours. But regardless of how effectively you apply sunscreen, somehow many people still get at least a small amount of tanning. Most women cherish tanned legs, whether from UV or even much safer self-tanners. And yes, it's true. We usually look a little better with a little color, and when we look better, we feel better. But there's no point in flaunting your tanned legs unless they're hairless and smooth. Most women control their leg hair by shaving. Fast, easy, and inexpensive. But you need to repeat it frequently. But don't forget that shaving is a form of physical exfoliation. And any exfoliation, whether chemical or physical, will cause all tans to fade faster. That's why I often say in the fall that one way to help your tan last longer, whether it's on your face or on your body, is to decrease how often you use your glycolic exfoliant. So let's extend that to shaving your legs as well. What? Not shave your legs? No, of course not. I have a solution. Instead, if you want your tan legs to stay tanned longer and hairless at the same time, consider starting laser hair removal now. So by the fall, your leg hair density will be sufficiently reduced to decrease how often you need to shave your legs. That, along with less often glycolic exfoliations, will allow your tan to last longer, regardless of whether it's UV-induced tan or a much safer one from a self-tanner. Now for today's skincare trivia. Answer today's question correctly and you'll be entered in a drawing to win a free skincare product. Submit your answer at dermtv.com slash trivia within three days of this episode's airing. Today's question is, why does waxing cause ingrown hairs? And don't forget, you can find the answer to this and all questions in past Derm TV episodes. Please join me again at dermtv.com. If you have a question, please send it to me by visiting dermtv.com slash question. I'm Dr. Neil Schultz, and thank you for watching today.